Today I'm going to show you how to start up your diatomaceous earth or DE filter for your pool. This is the one I have here. It's a Hayward. I don't know exactly what size it is. I have the gauge installed and the plug at the bottom there. So we're all set to go. First thing of course is shut your pump off. You can hear it is off and quiet. We have to move the handle over to filtration. It's currently on recirculate and filtration is here. So just push down turn over to there and start up the pump. Just have to wait for that to catch prime a second. And that's going to work its air out. And over here, the gauge is going up. Okay, so that's settled at, oh, about 19 and a half or so, somewhere in there. So everything is pretty much all set. Next thing you can do is release some of the air from it using the manual air release. Once you get water coming out, you can just turn it to close that. Now the filter has water going through it. But being a diatomaceous earth filter, let me explain what it is. Inside of that are a series of grids in there, not unlike a window screen. It would obviously look like this. The DE, which I'll show you in just a moment, is a very fine powder that goes in here and almost clogs up all these little squares. And that allows for very small particulate matter to be filtered. You can see that these squares, while not very large, can allow some pretty sizable chunks to go through. The DE coats these filters and helps filter everything out. This stuff right here, it looks just like flour, but it's not. You've gotta add three scoops of that to the skimmer. Here it is right here. The actual amount of DE is going to depend upon how large of a filter you have for your pool, so you will wanna check the manual for that. Just go ahead and dump it right in. And then I'll add two more scoops. You'll see that'll go right down. And that is going to go back to the filter and coat the grids in it. Let's go ahead and clean up any spillage just like this. And just scoot all that into the skimmer here. And that's really it. To getting your filter operational and adding DE. It's as simple as just dumping it in. So here is the pool now. This is two days after I opened it. I added uh, shock yesterday and we are making some headway. The water is getting clearer and clearer, but you'll notice it's still this dark murky green. And I'll show you the reason for that. Look right here at the top of the, uh, right next to the skimmer, the water seems nice and blue. And that's because the blue liner is what's reflecting the blue into the pool to make it look that way. But if you look down the water line a bit, down to where it was below the skimmer you can see that green line there and that's algae and all kinds of other great stuff so the next step is going to be to brush the pool there's no real skill involved just brush every surface the sides the floor everything like that and then wait it's going to take time for the filter to do its job okay it looks like we've settled around 20 at this point and what's going to happen over the next several hours to even a few days is you'll see that gauge is going to creep up slightly. Now when you hit 5 to 7 or even 8 PSI above what it normally reads, then it's time to backwash. And I will have an update video on that when that time arises. So what you want to do when opening your pool is set everything up, get the filter running. And once you have that running, keep an eye on it. Check it every 12 hours or so and then check it every day and once you see that uh, gauge go up then it'll be time to backwash. So really at this point brush the sides of the pool and the floor and then it's a waiting game. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe and take care.